All right, what's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR here. So I'm gonna give you my impressions for Rogue Company. So Rogue Company is a multiplayer four versus four objective based game made by High Res Studios. High Res Studios have made other multiplayer titles like Realm Royale, uh, Paladins, Smite, Tribes, and a bunch of other games. So they're very experienced in the multiplayer field, right? So this is a game that I didn't like it at first, right? It's been, they've they've given a lot of like beta access, alpha access uh, over the time. It's been in development for a while uh, with some with some people um, that, that had access to it, you know, early access and everything like that. I played the game the first time on PC like a year ago, uh, but the PC version I played was almost unplayable. So I, I played like two games. Uh, I, I saw that it could be something fun, but the, like I said, the, I think it was the alpha that I played and it was damn near unplayable. So I just uninstalled it. I was like, maybe I'll play it later on um, when like the beta comes or they get a little bit further in development where the game is a little bit more stable, right? Uh, so just to describe this game, I guess you could describe it like a, a third person Counter-Strike or, or Valorant, right? That's how most people would, would see this game. Now, of course, there, there are gonna be the comparisons of this Good game shit, to a lot guys. of other titles. Now, upon Good appearance, is this, does this game look impressive? No. So let's get the, you know, the, the comparisons of all the other hero shooters out the way and all that stuff. Does this game visually look, um, you know, unique, especially with the rogues? The rogues are, are the, pretty much the heroes in the, in the game. Does the gameplay look something special or unique compared to all the other, uh, games in this genre no so get you can get past that once you accept that and get past that you might actually enjoy the game because i know there's going to be people who look at it and compare it to those games and no we we all accept that it's it's not those games it's not going to be it probably won't be special about those games uh special like those games but it has potential that's the main thing i see in this in this game is it has some potential it's one of those games where it's going to require a lot of support over time to be something stand out. It's, it's gonna, it's one of those games that has potential, but it's gonna require a lot of long-term support from the developers, a lot of input from the players. It's one of those things. Will I be playing this game long-term? No, I don't, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't like, I don't, I never pretend like any of these games that I try out uh, is gonna be like the multiplayer game that I stick with long-term. Cause I, I really never know. Sometimes it's, you know, like, I'm very starved for multiplayer games. People make that clear. I don't try to hide that. I am very desperate to find a multiplayer game that I like, a new multiplayer game that I like, because people know, I've said it this 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 whole generation, there hasn't, there just really hasn't been many new multiplayer games that have come out this generation that I really liked. And I'm a multiplayer guy. I'm always looking for a multiplayer to like really stick my teeth into and like really stick with, but there just haven't been good multiplayer games that I've, that I personally like this generation. So I've been very starved. So am I desperate for to like something? Absolutely. And that could be be one of the reasons why I why I enjoy this game. It could be. I'm desperate. I'm starved. I I completely admit that. But I do think this game has ha, it is is fun. It has some fun to be had, and uh, uh, and it it has potential. Um, I at first I first played it on PS4, right? Well, I played the alpha on PC, like I said, a like a year ago or something like that. Um, then when they announced that the game is like in closed beta right now it's, it's in closed beta but pretty much anybody could have access to it it's on switch xbox pc ps4 so it's, it's it's on everything and and it has cross play that's that's great right you, i think yes i think so i was playing with black baron yes black baron i was playing with black baron and uh, uh my boy vic yesterday and he was baron was actually playing on switch i believe i was on ps4 yesterday and vic was on pc so that was pretty cool so at first when I played the game, as I said yesterday, like I said, I played it on PS4. I didn't like it. I played it also, I live streamed it just a little bit little bit ago on PS4. Still wasn't really feeling it. I played it on PC and I liked the game a lot more because it feels smoother on PC, obviously. I mean, it's 60 frames on PS4, but it's, it, you know, I was playing it at like 120 on PC and the mouse and keyboard made this a, a much better experience 
like the console when I was aiming with my with my PS with the, the controller on PS4, it just didn't feel accurate. It just didn't feel it felt like janky and a little bit stuttery. And usually, you know, with third person shooters, I'm com I'm completely fine and I prefer to use controller with third person shooters, but not with this one. With this game, the mouse and keyboard is absolutely better. Like it just makes my, my accuracy uh, just so much better. And like I said, when it comes to games, third person games, you know, like I feel like I could, um, you know, my, like my aim with a controller and my aim with mouse and keyboard on, on third person shooters is, is practically the same. You know, it, it it's, it's I feel like it's even, like I'm comfortable with both. But with this game, I wasn't really comfortable with the controller. Like I said, I played it on PC. It, it, it's just so much smoother. Um, uh, obviously it, it looks better. Not that this game is like, you know, going to impress anybody with his visuals or anything like that, but it does uh, look look better and, and all that stuff. It, it plays better. So I actually started really liking it when I was playing on PC. So um, there are these characters and, you know, each one of them have uh, a special ability. Uh, they have special ability and a passive ability, right? I'm not too impressed by the special abilities and the passive abilities of most of these characters. In my opinion, most of these characters have pretty useless and uninspiring abilities, or they have like a lot of copy and paste ability, abilities that the other characters have. They just have like a, a different Is version of it. I mean? But like there's four characters in this game that, that pretty much allow you to see enemies through walls. Their abilities just do it differently, but it's, it's the same result, right? And all the other characters, in, in my opinion, just have these abilities that you won't that that are not useful in most encounters they're like useful in rare very rare situations right because i've like i said i've been playing the game for a while and i'm like i still haven't come across a situation where this where like a certain character's uh ability would be useful so that's one complaint i really have about the characters is like yo there's only like in my opinion a handful of like good characters um to, to that are useful in, in my opinion now some of those character now each character has like a different loadout. They have different um, weapons that are specified to them. Um that can be uh pretty much like upgraded uh in the uh while you're in the plane or in between rounds like like Valorant or how Counter-Strike does it. You buy gear, you you make your purchases whether it's your your weapons, your your perks, all your gear, all of that stuff and it could be upgraded and bought between rounds. And I'm pretty sure on Counter-Strike, you don't actually get to keep. If I think on Counter-Strike, like I said, I'm not experienced in Counter-Strike. It's never been a game I've been into. I've been into. It never interested me, interested me or anything like that. So you could feel free to correct me if I'm wrong about anything about Counter-Strike. But as far as I know about Counter-Strike, when you die, you lose your purchases or you lose your purchases in between rounds, something like that. As far as I know, you don't keep your purchases and your gear uh, in between rounds or something like that. In this game, you do. So if you buy a weapon, gear, perk, you have it for that entire match. For the entire match you have it, if you die, it doesn't matter. The only time you lose it is um, when you switch sides. So for example, uh, there's three modes in the game. There's demolition, strikeout, and extraction. Demolition is self-explanatory. And after, I think it's five rounds, they switch you right you go from attacking to defense now when you so when they switch your objective uh that is the only time where they take away your uh your purchases and you have to choose your uh you have the opportunity no to choose remaining. your hero well all done. over your rogue all over again and i feel like the game is uh very easy to get into um it's very easy to like learn pretty fast i don't know if it has the potential to be uh, something that people take serious and play on a, like a like on a pro level or anything like that. But I think this this the ceiling is something uh, the skill ceiling of this game is something that definitely can be uh, explored. And I think it has the potential to have like a a dedicated and, and loyal community that continues to play it. I mean, it there's a lot of games like this that come in and and it fizzles out pretty quickly and then. Uh, you know, the player base drops to almost nothing. Um, I, I don't know, you know, what the, what the future will be with this. I know for right now, as I said, I'll be I'll be playing it. 
Um, but I never know how long I will be playing it, playing this stuff because I don't know how long, uh, I never kn really know how long things will be able to keep my attention. But what I really do like about this game is that it's not ability centric. This game is not about uh, so focused and reliant and using the abilities as uh, of each character as a crutch. Like I said, I don't like that the abilities, so many of the abilities seem so useless, but I do like that it's more about the gunplay. It's more about your aim a as a player, right? It's not about like, the, so much about the character's abilities. The abilities are there, but they're not the focus of the game. And I like that because I don't like games that, like, I don't like games like that. I, everybody knows I hate Overwatch. I hate games that make the the uh, the abilities of the characters the focal point. Because then you're not, it's not really skill-based in my opinion. It's just about the abilities and anybody could like use an ability. Anybody could hit a button and use an ability. But I would say it takes a little bit more skill to uh, use your, you know, just use your aim and, and, you know, using your abilities in the right situations uh, to kind of um, change the tide of how things are going and use them in the right situation. So I do like it that it's not heavy, heavily reliant on, on the abilities. And some people may say that makes it uh, somewhat generic. Some people may say the characters look generic. and. Their abilities are generic. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I wouldn't exactly argue with you, but I think that the gunplay is is really fun and enjoyable. You can definitely make the case that it's just uh, another like third person shooter with some Counter Strike elements to it. And yeah, I mean, maybe I just want another third person shooter. <laughs> like honestly, that that honestly m might be what I want. I can't. That's honestly kind of what I like. I just like third person shooters with with, you know, some 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 extra elements, some extra mechanics, but not overpowered mechanics to where the point to where it like breaks the game and the game is annoying and all that stuff. So I think that's actually, you know, what I like about it. The fact that it is a little bit bare bones. I think that, you know, that could be a good thing in some situations. Um, just to make one thing clear, so the game is not free to play. It's a paid beta, and when you and and you purchase a tear, right? And what you get with the tear is uh, some some currencies to like buy some of the rogues. I think there's a nineteen dollar, a nine dollar tear, a twenty dollar tear, and like a sixty dollar tear. I, I I believe they're selling this game as, and I think you I think in each package you get the same amount of rogues unlock but unlocked and then you have to use the currency uh, that you get with with each tear to choose the other rogues that you want to unlock. I can't think of you I can't think of uh, the, the the exact amount of rogues in in the game. Of course, them adding more is going to be important to the life and longevity of this game, but I think it's like what uh maybe 12? It might be tw like 12 rogues. Uh, it, I'm sure the game went to the screen where you get to choose your rogues and all of you saw it. I just don't remember the actual um, the actual uh, uh, specific number, right? So, yeah, uh, I'm, in, I'm enjoying the game on PC, man. I, I think I, I've, I needed this a little bit. Um, I am playing Ghost of Tsushima, as everybody knows, uh, but playing that game, even though I'm enjoying it, the open world, the open world fatigue can really hit you. Uh, even in the game, open world game you're enjoying. So I like this as a game that I, that like kind of reset my palette. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I don't get too fatigued of that game. And right here, I was actually trying to throw her knife. Instead, I forgot I had to aim, you have to aim the knife to throw it. You can't just like, uh, I was actually just doing the regular melee and that's what I was actually trying to do right there. Um, but yeah, I, I like the game. I'm, I've mainly been playing uh, Demolition. Um, I played a little bit of Strikeout. Uh, I don't believe Extraction is actually available right now, if I'm not mistaken, or I don't know if I've missed it in the uh, missed it in the in, in the menu. But it might it might be two modes available right now. And yeah, one another thing that people bring up when they see like the animations, no, the this game doesn't have the smoothest animations. Uh, you know, you got to understand this is not like a triple A um, production. I'm sure this doesn't have like a triple A budget or anything like that. And that probably wasn't their focus. Their focus was probably like the gameplay, not necessarily like the animations and all that stuff. Hey, listen, um, Sony got beat out by Tencent to buy, uh, uh, to buy, uh, God damn it, what's what's the name of this? Uh, 
uh, splash um, splash damage and everything like that. They're very good at making multiplayer games. And like I was thinking about like, yo, what other, stu what other studio could they buy that actually makes and is experienced in making multiplayer games? And I'm like, oh, duh, high res studios. So what if Sony bought high res studios and like actually put a budget behind, um, put a budget behind them, they can make a game like this that has a little bit more uh, production quality. That would be great. I don't know how, you know, Thank likely you, that is to happen. Um, I'm not even sure if High res is an independent studio or if they have a parent company. I don't even know. But uh, yeah, th those are my impressions of this game. Uh, I, I would say try it out. Like I said, you could get it for $9.99. Uh, if you have PC, I, I highly recommend you buy it on PC um, because at least then you'll have the choice between controller and, and mouse and keyboard and, and what you feel is better. So yeah, those are my impressions. Let me know what y'all think. I'm out of here. Peace.